Hey guys, weekly world number two here. It is Friday at Harmony Turbines. Thank you for following us and sticking with us. Our crowdfunding is done. That finished last week and we gave everyone warning, so that's now out of the picture and we're moving on to sort of phase two. My uncle is here, so he came from Upper Michigan, my uncle Roger. Wanna say hello? Hi there, how are y'all? <laughs> He'll be here for six weeks and I might talk him into staying a little bit longer if I can, bribe him with some beer or something like that. You so, never know. Never know. And behind the camera we have Josh, so Josh can uh, say hello. I'll, I'll take the camera from him. <laughs> He's famous. Josh has like 1.9 million YouTube hits. Uncle Roger's wow. got a large target to shoot for here. You gotta yeah. be above two million to be well, someone you know. I've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Anyway, today, what we did guys was my uncle and Josh did all of the airlines on this side. So you can see them coming down. We've got half inch the half inch runs coming down for a drop here between the horizontal mill and the power bandsaw. We've got another drop here for the lathe and the workbench. And that's going to provide two drops for this area. We also then have drops for the welding area. We're going to split off with a splitter so that we can have maybe two runs of air in the welding area. And the scissor lift here for Monday because Monday we're gonna go with the air up and over to the other wall. And if you wanna come into the closet here, we'll show you. This is the beginning of the run. Right now it's still hooked up to the temporary orange air hose, but Monday we're gonna tie into the main half inch line, come up to that T, over and up and down that wall. So I will uh, pause the video here. We're gonna show you some other stuff. Yeah, we're going to run the airline up above the door and then down here and then we're going to come across to these two machines with a drop and then the two uh, milling, machines. milling machines. Yep. So we're going to have three drops on this drop. side as well. Last week we showed everyone the vertical mills over there that they were powered. We have yet to run the three phase to them, but that's on the docket for next week as well. So we're going to run those up over the top just like we did with those. Yep. And them into here. Along with the airlines going to come down to here, stop in the middle of the box. We'll split these up, run the airlines up over to these. Yep. Same thing with the CNC machines. We're going to run the airlines at the same spot. And if I can interrupt Josh, the beautiful work we've done here to come up and over so that we can walk straight through without anything. If we have to bring materials back in through here, we can bring materials in. So we'll do the same thing as he's saying with the air. So we have our junction boxes here. Yep. These will go right inside here. We'll run those up through and then they'll come up around uh, the top of those. Perfect. We're going to pause the video and show you a little bit of what we've been doing with the milling machine. These two guys put in a lot of hours on the CNC machine with me. It's like no. It's, it is like no. <laughs> it was really filthy. <laughs> it was bad. Very yep. Bad. All right, guys, so this is temporary. We're going to run a extension cord up and around, but for now, this will uh, let you see what's going on with the oil trample separate. oil collector. This basically collects all of the oil that's going around on top of the machine here for the coolant and sucks off all the tramp oil, the, the waste oil that's on top, recirculates it back through. I'm going to power up the machine now because we have all of our power run for the machine. We have the coolant pump installed. And as we just said a moment ago, this machine was really, really in need of a good cleaning. So we did all the cleaning over the last two days. You can pause it. Okay, so we have the uh, CNC fired up and I just honed it. And uh, basically what we've got going on now is the machine has been totally cleaned out and then reflushed with fresh water and filled with coolant. So we now have coolant and Josh and my uncle did an amazing job in here. You can see the guards are reinstalled on the front. We just have to reinstall the guards in the back and then the Z guards coming up and down here. But everything is cleaned out and looking beautiful, ready for work. And we just have to uh, install the guards Monday. And then we're waiting on the uh, we're waiting on a drag chain for the cable guards in the back. And once we have that, then we can 
get the cable guards on the back for protection of the wires. If, I don't know if you want to show them a little shot in there of the back, but there's a drag chain that's going to control those wires and make sure they all stay in line. Yep. So those right here. <laughs> It'll have a drag chain very much like what you see up top there, guys, except smaller. Half the size of that. All right, we're going to just hit the stop on this. This machine is next. The battery was dead on the CPU, so I let it go for a couple weeks and, you know, the battery died. No big deal. I'd rather it happen now before we're up in production. I have the parts on order. All we're waiting on is a new e-stop because this e-stop in this machine was a little bit broken. It still worked, but I want it to be like new. So this machine is for next week. That thing is loud when it blows yeah, up. Yeah, nice though. <laughs> we're getting water on. We're basically going to go through and clean this machine just like we did the other one. Get it all ready. Get it cleaned up. Get it ready to go. Charge it with coolant so that we're ready to machine with both this and the other machine. So. The welding. Josh was giving me sign language and uh, I didn't understand what he was saying, but yeah, this is the waste oil that we've got. So we filled up about a third of our tank already because of the other machine. It's okay, that'll go up in a yeah, moment. Chop. So we've got plenty of room for another 100 gallons to clean this, then flush it, and then charge it with coolant. And both machines will be all ready to go. Um, Really nothing new to show back here other than probably we're going to let the kitchen go for another week and then maybe two weeks out we'll, we'll finish getting the kitchen out ready. But we do have a microwave and a coffee maker back there. Our wash sink and the bathroom is working but that's been working for a week or two. Our whiteboards are up now. We have four of them up and we're going to use these for tracking and keeping, you know, making sure that we have a good system down for parts that we're producing, for anything we need to remember. At this point, it's just a lot of little things, guys. A lot of little things that are being done to get the shop ready, get us into production mode so that we can start producing units for you. And as I've been saying all along, the one kilowatt turbines are gonna be our, our benchmark. They're gonna tell us what we need as far as size, as far as power production and performance, as far as cost for manufacturing and getting the pieces and parts that we need but the one kilowatt units aren't gonna be what we're selling to everyone. They're probably gonna be a very, very small market for one kilowatt turbines. Really, we're gonna be into the bigger three, five, or even eight kilowatt turbine market for home and residential, small business, things like that. So at this point, we're just getting the shop ready. We're getting everything ready. Yeah, we have a long gun. My uncle here helping. He'll be here for the next gun. six weeks. And then Josh, who has been on board for a month already, it's hard to believe, but I think at this point, yeah. Josh, you have anything else you want to say? We are kicking butt and um, we should day. have uh, a lot done and hopefully within, what do you say, maybe July-ish, June, July. June, July. We should probably have some, almost a full build in. We should be able to have it done. Yeah, well, the shop is going to be ready way before that, but the prototype. Yep, be done the, the prototype. Yep. yep, so at this point, we are going to let you go. Thank you for believing in us and sticking with us. Take care, guys. See ya.